here's a patient of mine, and this patient was a fairly complex lady who I'd known for many years. She had occlusion of all of her superiotic trunks, so upper arm access was not an option. Um, she had previously had standing of her left renal, and she came back with malignant hypertension. And you can see the disease in her aorta, but had a complex renal artery stenosis. Now, the good news is I was going out of town, so I asked one of my partners to take care of this, and uh, he's a very accomplished uh, interventionist and couldn't do it. Could get a wire in, but never could get a sheath over this um, and into the, to the renal stand. So, you know, I came back in town, was pretty confident I could do it, and once again spent about another three hours making exactly the same mistakes. We could wire it, we could never get a stable platform. And so you, we probably spent about six hours trying to do this. So at that point, we opted to, to bring in the robot. And this is our clinical uh, hybrid room. This is the, the setup. The robot is attached to the uh, bottom left of our uh, uh, the float table. So what we did was we did a 3D acquisition. You can see us setting up the rotation uh, for the image intensifier. And again, this is our multi-planar, uh, this is the single field on the workstation. And when you, when you blow that up, you can actually see you know, why this is fairly complex, is there's heavy calcification in and around the origin of the renal artery, and a fairly tortuous little flow pattern. So what we do is we mark the origin um, on the, uh, the uh, workstation, and we tend to draw that line, same line that John showed you of a line which uh, and shows you the trajectory of where you want to lay in your wire. And this, uh, that line is actually projected back onto the fluoro. So these images are fused together. That little round circle is the origin. And here's the direction we really want to get that wire. And so once again, we got the, the nine French sheath. We got the catheter up here. And believe it or not, this was the first attempt at uh, wiring this. And so there were, you can imagine there were oohs and ahs. There were also a few oohs and ahs when this thing looked up in the renal artery, but at that point in time, we'd spent so long trying to uh, get a wire in there that we weren't taking that out or trying to straighten it, so we uh, closed our eyes, advanced the wire, and that allowed us then to go ahead and uh, bring the sheath up into position, take the leader out, and then we went ahead and actually um, angioplasted it, and then we come in right after that with the stent. And so the nice thing is that it gives you tremendous stability once you get that sheath up into place. And you can imagine we were fearful of losing that wire, but that's not going to happen uh, in a situation such as this. So this was one of those cases, uh, we all have those aha moments where we go, oh my gosh, you know, we spent so long trying to do this manually and to be able to convert this over and use it and the robot, why didn't we use this right off the bat?